this pastor Ezra, uh, the pastor in charge of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Restoration House in Windsor. I've known Adebayo Ilori since uh, 2009. Then I was assistant pastor at another parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, uh, Throne of Grace. Uh, Bio was then an engineering student at the University of Windsor and uh, a volunteer driver with this church. And uh, Bio would wake up in the morning picking young students from house to house. And one thing that struck me was the day he had an accident uh, with the city bus and uh, he lost his car. And, uh, because they have top party insurance, or is it liability you call it here? Oh God, he lost the car and there was no insurance. And I met with him, I even thought the church would be able to do something. But no, and this guy continued serving God. And he really, really, really moved me. And I told him that time that, Bio, you know what? The Almighty God will reward you so immensely your service. And I promised him that day that don't worry, I will give you my best daughter to marry. I just said it and the guy caught it, graduated, moved to Michigan and imagine seven years after she's marrying my daughter. And she I mean he married He's marrying my daughter and he reminded me when he first came to meet me that, oh, I love your daughter, this is what is happening, I've been praying about it. And I was like, oh, if I'm going to really pray, then you remember you promised me that you would give me your daughter. I was like, wow, when? Then I remembered vividly that the bio is a very sweet person. Very sweet guy, very sweet, very wonderful, ready to serve, very obedient, very hardworking. You said um, he was going to marry your daughter. Oh wow, will be an issue. Ah, met with you at a naming ceremony uh, in the church. Where I used to be the assistant, pastor, and the Holy Spirit told me that that girl is the daughter of Zion. The useful tool in the hand of God. It took me another seven good months to get her to come to church, visiting, evangelizing, getting people, getting my pastor, we visited, we did everything. Until one day, he gave it. She gave it. She decided to come to church. And since then, it's been a new day for her. Uh, even the boy, the mom, the sisters, they never believed that we could sing. But when the need arose, when we were starting a new parish restoration house, there was nobody to sing. And I said, You can sing. They said, No, it's not possible. And she volunteered. I believe you saw what happened in the church today. That was that choir by the grace of God brought that choir from nothing to what you saw in church today. Then she's the church second. She's my adopted. No, I don't want to have the word adopted. He's my daughter. And I made him so proud to be. And then uh, the mom is here.
they started the relationship on the note of God. They did it the right way. The guy came to me. I saw somebody before even going to meet the woman. And we prayed. The woman prayed, fasted. And we involved so many men of God and women of God, pastors and prophets. And until God say, said yes, they did not start courtship. And the moment they started the courtship, they decided and they agreed, determined, very desperate to make it holy. And that's why I'm so proud of them that today I know, I knew that we actually uh, had a solemnization of holy matrimony. And I pray for them. My prayer is that the reward of obedience, the reward of obedience will be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. That their marriage will be an example to others who look up to it. That people will know that it is okay, even in 2016. It is alright to still do it the old way. And if you do something that is rare and uncommon, you must get something uncommon. So I wish them fruitfulness, prosperity, and new level in their marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. That very soon many will go to them for advice and how do you do it? How are you doing it? How are you so happy? Like everlasting honeymoon, unending marital bliss with them in their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. And if over, they will even move closer to God. They will not, they will never say I've arrived and look the other way in the mighty name of Jesus. And I call them, uh, somebody said father of the good. Another person said father of the bride. And I said no, the father of the poor, the proud father of the poor. Given them light, 
you and your father. Uh, sorry, daddies, don't worry. Uh, today is their day. <laughs> uh, it is well in the mighty name of Jesus. So we've been giving them the light scenes. Now they want to join the lights together so that the light will be single and the whole body, the whole marriage will be lighted up in the mighty name of Jesus. So please.
Why? You should not be joined together in only matrimony. Say it now. Does any of you know any reason why you should not be joined in only matrimony? Praise the Lord. Join 
women with the Bible, which is the word of God. Uh, some of us wear rings, some don't. It's not a taboo and it's not compulsory. But we will bless the ring, there will be a change of the ring, but the object of their union is the word of God. Believe those who are joined by law, most of the time, will be separated by law. If you are joined by the court, the court can separate. If you are joined, joined by tradition, alone, tradition can come and separate. But when you are joined by the word of God, and the word of God says, those who are joined together, like joining, cannot be put asunder. And that is why we are joining you today by the word of God. Can somebody say amen to that? Yeah. So that when you repeat after me at the Bible, with this holy Bible, any microphone? With this holy Bible? Louder? Your hand. 
willingly as your husband and we are that ring unto you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Will you clap for Jesus? Congratulations. Let's just bless this room. Let's bless this room. Let's be mad. A powerful scene at the beginning of the endless song. Our last scene on the ending of the house of the Lord is the Lord who shuts the door against every instrument, every form of Savior in your lives that brings me to Jesus. And you will be happy, happy, happy married together. The Lord will bless you with fruits, spiritual, biological, financial, and the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord.
Et à son Christian le bel, le monde du bel, avec un signe de l'éducation. This is to me one of the best moments we need to pray for them. Mother, Daddy, you are welcome. Please come on. Pastoral blessing, fatherly, motherly blessing, and the congregational blessing. We want you to please remain standing and see you pronounce your blessings. You are prophets of the Almighty. Please, Pastor Elijah, come forward. Please, please. Jeremiah says, No, I have not resisted to behold the pastor. Let's pray for them. Bless them, bless this union. That they are married to be an example. Good example to others. Because of them, many will want to rush. Many will be to be and say, Please, I want to marry in the mighty name of Jesus. That they will enjoy this marriage. It's not to be endured. They will enjoy it from the beginning. Even to Jesus come in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
I go out and the Lord Almighty will be with us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Journey with them, and he see them through. 
He has been the God of sustenance. He will guide, he will lead, and he will direct them. And no way of fashion against any one of them. He is saved in the mighty name of Jesus. And the most happy and another thing that truly really make me happy. I've seen Daniel's father for the past 16 years. And Daniel brought us together again. This has been a very special thing in our family. Bringing father, myself, and all the other children together. I say thank you to all my people. And I wish them well. Their marriage shall be fruitful, and the Almighty God will bless them. We provide for them all things that they will need. Almighty God will give it to them. As they call upon Him, He will answer them. Thank you. To God be the glory. Great things He has done. I am the great performer of the name. The very lucky mother of the bride and now really lucky mother of the son by of the Lord. It's a blessing to have these two come together because they meet in the house of the Lord. This is just a God. loving that that love so much radiated 
in between us that when during the time I was in the East, in Onisha, so I, he came to visit me then with a mom when I was doing my service. And uh, along the line, I took him out and everybody that saw him, they were in love with him because he's, he's a genius. He asks questions and is very meticulous. And some of the questions he does ask, as they are questions that you cannot even phantom because he is knowledgeable and he has the wisdom. And I know as at that time it's God that was talking to him and asking him to ask those questions. For most of the friends I, I made him to see that day. So he showed an, a good example of a good human being and a person that really belongs to a trained person. And as a result of that, since that time I've kept notice of him that he is going to go somewhere. And eventually, when eventually Bio came to join me in Canada, he was so passionate to the extent that the love he asked for me, he was so considerate to the extent that he, we always gone together and we went out together. Even when he went out to do work in the night, when I'm sleeping, I have to wake up and go and pick him up. And I also tell him, say, look, don't worry, that according to the word of God, I say, when you have suffered in life, the Lord will perfect and he will settle you. And I thank God that the Lord has perfected and he has settled him. Glory, honor, and adoration be to him, to him and the wife. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord we had more unto them in the name of Jesus. Sooner than later, we will come to celebrate with them for a newborn baby in the mighty name of Jesus. The wisdom and the knowledge to rule the whole, the Lord will give unto him in the name of Jesus. And the wife, it will be a real virtual woman indeed in the house of Bayo Elori in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his countenance shine upon you. May he give you the former and the latter rain in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Thank you very much. My name is Kizu. And the bride of my sister is uh, very close. She comes with me, my mom. Uh, it's, it's an amazing day getting married for the baby so when there's a busy person. Uh, I'm glad to call him my brother now. The first time I met him was he just fit in he just fit in like a glove with our family. It, it, it was it was seamless. But uh, yeah my sister is uh, is getting married today and it's an overwhelming feel, feeling actually. Because uh, wow, I, I, I it's not that I didn't pray for this day to come, I just didn't think this quick. I'm already missing her, but she's very strong. She's going to be a strong girl, a strong wife. She's going to be a good family person, and uh, I wish them all the best in everything they do. I can't wait to carry my nieces and my nephews when they eventually come. And uh, I pray that they are, that their marriage will be, will be one of love and strength. And, uh, yes, because God bless you guys. And keep going strong. Miss you, love you. You were beautiful.